Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Tracy here and first of all I've got a little announcement to make and that is when I was putting up my hump day giveaway this week I made a bit of a mistake and um, I put it as public as soon as I'd made it. Um, so I quickly turned that off. So consequently when it did become public it didn't go notify like all the others um, because I'd made that boo-boo and so if you want to find my uh, hump day giveaway you have to search for it this time round which is a bit of an a bit awkward I don't know why they do that um, it was clearly a mistake um, I was just rushing where I was on this training course and uh, I, I filmed it ahead of time and made that boo-boo anyway so if you want to find my hump day giveaway it's quite it's a bigger um giveaway this time as well there are three different types of yarn so if you haven't found it um it's on my channel it's my hump day giveaway and there should only be one because i always once i've done a new one i get rid of the old one okay so this is my new yarn i know i've got a little device somewhere that i can do that with ready this is my new yarn well basically i've decided to um get some new stuff and get some new colors of existing yarns now i've got my little bill that comes with it that tells me bill of lading or whatever delivery note and i've checked it all off and sadly two of the ones that i really really wanted were not in stock so i'll have to do them another time so uh but i've got a couple that uh, i really really well i've got quite a few that i really really wanted so that's good but two of them sadly not and it was one of those um things where i decided you know i was going to do something really special with it you know it's always the way isn't it but i've also decided recently i always had in my shop hobbyrocks.co.uk i always had special aaron by stylecraft and lately i've been buying special dk so i figured i could just expand the range of special aaron and special dk or I could start getting some special chunky in and that's what I decided to do so um, I have only got a few colors well not a few there's, a, there's a f quite a few but um, I'm getting them within themes that sounds weird but um, you'll see what I mean when I go on now this one being the exception to that this is called parchment let me just get my necklight and we'll have a little looky so this is stylecraft special chunky and 100 gram ball will give you um 100 premium acrylic 144 meters 157 yards naturally anti-pilling it's machine washable to 30 degrees it is tumble dryable you can iron it and dry clean it and it's called parchment this one so that's, um, I wanted a neutral colour, so that was that. Goes without saying that this is called black, okay. Goes without saying that this one is called white. But that's where, that's where that kind of obviousness ends. This one, I like this one. So I decided to, this time around, get all the purples and lilacs um next time i'll choose a different color and, and go, go around that but this one is called proper purple and it is it's proper purple all of the other things that the, the um you know the fact that it is um premium acrylic the meterage yardage and all that stuff the washing instructions all the same but this one is proper purple i'd go along with that it's very proper I'll put it there because move the pen and we'll put it there. I've got a crochet hook stuck then. Put that back. Okay, so that was proper purple. This one, I think this is lavender. All of the gubbins is exactly the same. There's the strand, so you can see it is a not it's absolutely beautiful, this you know. Really soft, really lovely to work with. I, I've been really impressed with all the special range. 
And what really impresses me most about it is the price because it's anti-pilling, it's beautifully soft. I've never had one that I've worked with that's been a problem, whether it's been DK, 4-ply, Aran, which is a four-way, or uh, Chunky. Not had one single solitary issue with any ball of any of this, and it's really, really reasonable. So that's that one. Then we've got this really dark one. I love this colour. I think this is Emperor emperor yeah i'm going to turn that off because i will blind you that's still on off emperor that's beautiful it really is so um a bit darker than the proper purple and then one more this is wisteria and i love wisteria i've got it in all of the other ranges as well it is absolutely beautiful i've put it too close it will come out a bit lighter but wisteria is just gorgeous i can't stress enough how soft this stuff is really really lovely so ah hang on a moment i have a bit of a problem houston i'll bring them at the front no longer a problem i got another color in the that color vibe so i'm gradually adding to these but how gorgeous is this one that colour vibe, it is just beautiful. Now there is a little nitty swatch on the side there. And oh, it is so soft, this is really beautiful. It is 85% acrylic and 15% merino. 80 metres, 87 yards, 100 gram skein, ball, whatever you want to call it. It's a chunky, so like the other, it's a chunky. And it's 30 degree wash in the washing machine. You can tumble dry it, you can iron it and dry clean it. And this one is called Joy. And it is a joy to behold, isn't it? Beautiful. So it does look fatter in the strand, a little tiny itty bitty bit, because it's got a little fluffy nap to it, a little bit of fluffiness. But isn't that beautiful? I love that one. I love Joy. We all have a bit of joy. Now, the other day, I swatched up some of the Batik Swirl elements. Now, the ones that were out of stock, I believe, were Batik Swirls. I wanted to upgrade those and get some more. Um, I don't think any of the elements that I ordered were out of stock because I've already got quite a few. But this one, this is one of my favourites. It's called Fire. It is absolutely beautiful. I really like this one. Now, it's a DK weight, so a three weight, 80% premium acrylic, 20% wool. It's not scratchy. I've just been doing swatches with these. And if their wool content was aggravating, then my hands would know about it. And I haven't really felt it. Um, 275 metres, 300 yards. 30 degree wash again, all the same, tumble dry, dry clean, cool iron. Well, it's got an irony symbol. And there is the swatch. Not very big, is it? But then again, the yarn isn't very big. These are 100 grams. The other ones they do, the, just the swirl, they're 200 grams. But these are 100 grams. So they have kind of catered for those people who want it to be a little bit cheaper and not so much yardage because maybe they're making a hat or something and they don't need sort of 200 grams plus if you're making something and you want a certain amount of yarn you don't want to order too much and if it's in a 200 gram ball then quite often you will have to have quite a bit left over if you only need a little bit of that 200 gram ball that's annoying so there you are that's um fire i really like that one if you haven't seen the sw swatch videos, I only put them up yesterday. Now this one, this is called Ooh, Thunder. They're all named after elements, obviously. All the nitty gritty stuff is the same. I love this one. I have to say, I really do. I really like the Thunder. In fact, I love a good storm. So yeah, let's put that out there. Okay, so recently I decided to do some, bought some boxes. They're not here yet. 
but to um, get some patterns and I've got them here they're all free patterns but I was going to put them in a pack so um, I could put the pattern the yarn in and sell them as a pack maybe discount it down a little bit perhaps and uh, or maybe put a hook in or a crochet knitting needles or whatever it needs to be a pack um you know i haven't kind of worked out the absolute content of it but i bought these yarns as well because i have some patterns in this um i'll show you the patterns that i've got so far and i do have more uh, on my website um i've got lots of free patterns on my website but this one is head over heels and i don't have that yarn but they're sock patterns so a lot of these are on my website as free patterns that when you're when you're shopping if you want a physical pattern you can just pop these in your basket free of charge you don't have to buy the yarn that they they go with um, I've got some free downloadable patterns as well, but these usually are knitting patterns. That's the only drawback to them. So with the colour vibe, I have this free pattern. Sometimes for a specific um, yarn, I have more than one pattern, but that's this, um, this pattern here. So I could do that with the colour vibe. This one... I've sold a lot of recently the yarn and these free patterns that went alongside it. There was last month I must have sold um, the yarn with these patterns to about 10 different people. I was a bit, that's what gave me the idea. And I, I thought, well, thank you very much. This is the Knit Me Crochet Me. You remember the Knit Me Crochet Me yarn? This is a pattern for that. So I could easily do it with that. And then the Batik Swirl Elements. And this is the pattern that they have with that. And this one um, is a shawl. So I could do that. So that brings me on to my next yarn that I've got. And it is Bambino Prints. So this is the freebie pattern that I have for that one. Now I could, in one of my next orders, buy some paid for patterns and bundle them up like that but this is just my dip in the toe in the water to see what this is like and how it's going to look so um the chances are i mean i could like i said get some patterns crochet patterns knitting patterns and do a little bundle but this is just me seeing how they'll work out and whether people would like them so for the bambino prints i have this one which i absolutely loved this one on the website i wasn't gonna get i was gonna get um a few basic colors but this one just i just really needed to uh to get this it's absolutely lovely really really like this one now let me tell you about the bambino prints it's 100 grams it's called hopscotch this one and it's 100 percent premium acrylic it's machine washable to 30 degrees cool tumble dry cool iron and you can dry clean it exactly the same as before um oh i can't read that where's my nowhere to be seen i've probably buried them under yarn so let me see that looks like 268 meters 293 yards i believe that says i'll hold it up it probably um get bigger for you guys on the screen if it focuses so that is hopscotch now this one this is called jumping jacks and i really really like this one as well this is jumping jacks very pretty i decided to get a blue green as well and this one is called leapfrog because there's some kind of greens and blues in that one that one is leapfrog all the rest of the um nitty gritty is the same but this one is called a ring of rosy and this is my favorite i'm not usually um one for pinks but this one is is my my absolute favorite although i do like this one as well very neutral colors should you need it this one um gender specific really although i always feel that is quite a sad thing that we associate 
colours with gender and it re rules it out for other genders. Yeah, the other gender. Well, no, you've got to be careful these days, haven't you? But you know what I'm trying to say. Why should girls have pink and boys have blue? Girls have lots of blue, but you don't often see boys that have pink. And I think that's a shame because they're babies. So what does it matter? Well, those are my new yarns. Um, I hope you like them and I hope you can tell me which one's your favourite out of all of those. I, I've been wanting to do a decent um, solid coloured chunky for quite some time. The trouble with other yarns from other websites, uh, from other, you know, from the, the sites that I buy from, um, a lot of the time they'll have, for instance, a solid colour of yarn and it doesn't feel any softer than this. Um, sometimes they do, sometimes they feel a bit softer, but they'll be like three times the price or twice the price. And and this is soft enough to put on any child or baby. And it, especially when you wash it, it will be even softer. It's a premium acrylic. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. But if you want baby yarn, see there's this one. Now, I feel them marginally softer probably soften up even more with washing but you know I know you can pay you can pay upwards to you know crazy amounts for yarn but I think you know when you've got people who make uh, blankets for charity and to give away and to give to to people you don't always want to spend an absolute fortune for those special products maybe projects maybe you do but um, yeah, that, so those are my latest ones. But I have been recently getting some uh, hand-dyed yarns in and some more of the upper end. Now, I was going to think about stocking rowan, and I did look into it. Because a lot of serious knitters, they do love their rowan. And um, I did approach them a long time ago. But my initial order with rowan would have to be in excess of a £1,000. And when I first started Hobby Box, my first... Stylecraft order was well in excess of a thousand pounds so i mean i did it um but i ended up with so much it wouldn't be the case with rowan theirs is um a lot more more expensive to buy um so it would take up a lot less space and it, it but at the same time who has a thousand pounds just think let's do a rowan experiment so yeah it, i don't know that there'd be enough call amongst my um my my captive audience and the people that have found my site i mean obviously if they're searching for a product they might find me through that so there is that to it but it's a lot of money you know and i do i, I do appreciate that high-end yarns as they they like to think of themselves um are more expensive and that's true with the hand dyed but um you know it's just a lot of money to have as initial order when it might not work out for your shop. So for now, um, and the same is true with drops, drops and Rico. Um, yeah, I've been looking into them, but um, they're not so easy to buy from and whether I will take that plunge yet or not, I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Give me your opinion on the high end, more expensive, yarn do you buy it would you want to see it would you buy it from um a small independent little shop is there i mean i hate to use the word yarn snob because you know that that does seem derogatory but there are people who will only buy what they deem good yarn and they'll only buy wool some of us can't use it so you know we're out that picture but you know my, i'd like to hear your thoughts on all of that and what ones you liked um yeah that's it really so i hope you like them i love all of these what the i thought you know if i get all these lovely lovely lilacs um there was a, a project that i had in mind once to ombre um, some purples and uh, I did buy a special kit um, I think it was Malaga ages ago in all these lovely colours ready to do it and did I do it? 
I don't even know where they are now. I haven't seen them seriously in a very, very long time. Beginning to wonder if I didn't just give them away. Possible. Anyway, I've digressed again and carried on. I always say I'm going to go, don't I? And then I end up talking again. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. So if you haven't already, don't forget to look out for that hump day giveaway if you do want to take part because it got lost along the way and didn't get notifications. Oh, well, that would teach me to not look at what I'm doing and uh, to rush. Bye for now. See you soon.